hello and welcome to my channel once again my name is jadi sola and thank you for watching my last uh, video uh today we are going to go into some sort of like part two of the last video which is about uh going about finding um a job um as a foreigner within the uk uh so for today we're going to be going into interviews um how to really cop your first set of interviews so you have prepared your cv uh it's good you've applied for roles and then now recruiters are calling you right this is where the journey to getting um, um interviews are uh, now starts now you know we get in a job before you can get a job you need to secure yourself an interview and then you need to pass the interview so we're going through all the different stages um right here so um i think from the first thing is you need to understand how recruiters work and these guys are marketers that's the that's the that's the best way to put it right they are looking for the candidate that stands the best chance of being recruited by their clients where um, eventually they will get a commission off of you know placing you within that company that is what you do so you need to understand the mindset of a recruiter so when a recruiter calls you that is the first test you need to pass <laughs> i'm telling you <laughs> like you want to be likable you want to be memorable right if you are a um uh, Nigerian, you probably understand this thing I'm about to say. You know that thing where you're just, you know, in your house, you're chilling, and then an unknown number calls you, and then you're 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 literally like frowning your face, or you pick up the call, you don't say anything, or you answer in a very, um, you know, cold way. That is not what you want to do when you're looking for a job, right? First of all, how many people really know this your foreign number, right? So or. <laughs> When somebody is calling this your new international number that you've gotten, you know that you sh something should click to you that it might be a recruiter. So if you're lying down, you want to sit up, you want to make sure that your voice is clear, um, you want to make sure that you're bringing out your best personality. I'm telling you, that thing works. It's like it's like jazz. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, but you want to make sure that your personality really comes through when you're speaking to a recruiter for the first time. You know, I keep saying this to people. People want to work with people that they like. If you're just, you know, dragging and everything, it just comes across that maybe you're not so interested. So you want to like be upbeat, you know. You want to answer the calls, um, you know, like you've been waiting for them. Oh, hello, you know, uh, hello. You, you, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Because that's the first one you need to test. You also need to make sure that you aren't, you know your CV inside out um so that when the recruiter is talking to you or they're asking you questions you are able to um um answer them um very clearly and then you also want to show a bit of enthusiasm that you're interested in the and the job that you know they've called you for you also want to you know maybe ask certain questions about the company understand how much they pay um you know where they're located you know, just you know engage the recruiter so that you get as much information he feels or she feels that you're interested in the role um ask them to email you the job description once again because a lot of the times you know <laughs> a recruiter calls you you don't you can't remember applying for that job right you can't remember what the job description is so feel free to ask them oh, okay after this call if you can just please uh send me the job description once again and everything you know just do that engage with them that's the first thing you want to do now spend so much time on the recruiters because they are really like the gateway to you getting an interview because now they have to go back to their um, clients to make a case for you you know present your cv also um defend you sometimes because when they feel like oh this person sounds like a great candidate uh for them to get paid they will make a case for you now typically within the uk um people would go through maybe 
three to four stages of interview. So the recruiter bit, I'm not counting that as a first stage, right? What you want to get to is actually speak to people within the company. Uh, so it could be the hiring manager as well, which is usually the, the first stage, right? Now, the first stage when you get this interview is as important as the stage for the recruiter as well. Now, this stage is the simplest yet most difficult stage um because yes the recruiter likes you the recruiter has told the hiring manager oh i've spoken to this candidate or oh, we think they are they're great uh i think you should um you know interview them and then the hiring manager comes right the hiring manager already has information from the recruiter about maybe how you were and all the rest you want to make sure that you match that but the thing is you see that first stage with the hiring manager, they would always ask you the simplest yet the most difficult question, which is tell me about yourself. You see, <laughs> this question, <laughs> it can get you into trouble. It is simple and some people feel like they don't have to prepare for it. Now, this is your opportunity to sell yourself. You see that first stage with the hiring manager, they basically just want to know you. They want to understand your work experience. They want to understand um, your achievements, what you've done in the past for the most bit. And it's usually like, you know, 30 minutes to one hour. So you can't just go with like a one-liner. You want to make sure that you're engaging the hiring manager. They want to talk to you again. Like that is the key to um you know um passing your first stage interview with any hiring manager you want to make sure that you're sh you're putting your best foot forward like it is very um very very key and we now that most interviews are even like done online um in the uk it means that you have absolutely no excuse look great look bright let your voice also project that you're interested and that you're the best things in sliced bread. Sell yourself, you know. Um, try to give them more context. Now, I'm, I'm hammering on this because, you know, if you're coming from another country, uh, they may not basically understand how things work where you're from. And I'm sorry to say, like, so many people, even in 2022, right now, still think that, oh, if you're from Africa, then... You're like living under the wood or something uh you know you want to make sure that they understand that you know what's up right so that's the key to you know passing the first stage now from the first stage depending on the company depending on the role they may now ask you to uh proceed to the next stage which could be maybe giving you like tests to do so some of them may give you like written tests some of them may give you like presentations uh some of them uh it may just be like a behavioral interview right which is another thing that you know you must be prepared for you know the behavioral interviews are usually around they're trying to test your knowledge about how you would behave in certain scenarios so for example, say you are in a managerial role or something, or you have stakeholders that you have to deal with in your new role, they may ask you questions about, or maybe a difficult time that you've had with, you know, stakeholders in your previous roles, right? Understanding the context of what they're looking for with some of these behavioral questions that they may be asking you is very key, right? Uh, so make sure that you prepare for um you know behavioral type interviews now with tests uh, or exercise type interviews where you're given like a task some of them will give you uh take-home tasks where you would need to have like maybe um five to seven days to prepare for and then come back and make a presentation um some of them may give you right there on the spot in a particular interview stage where they just ask you a question and they expect you to think on the spot, you know, like I said, depending on the role, you have to be able to prepare for such interviews. But like I always say, you know, what you want to do is get your first set of interviews, right? 
and go to an interview with an open mind yeah if you get your uh the job from your first set of interviews is great but what you want to do when you're coming in newly is to use your first experiences to learn as well while you would prepare you want to make sure that you're paying attention to the questions they're asking you what they're looking for and with every stage that you're progressing to um you know you want to know what's going on in that stage what are the things that they are looking out for and those are the things that you'll now be using to prepare for your next set of interviews even if you don't get the job um you know from the interviews that you've been doing another thing you want to do to also be memorable is always when you're preparing for interviews always prepare for questions that you want to ask um at the end of the interview most interviewers would ask you at the end of every interview oh do you have any question for me you don't want to go no I, I think i've gotten it you know at the end of your interview you want to show that you're interested in their company you did a bit of research you have some questions to ask sometimes you may not even be asking questions about the company you may be asking questions about yourself right asking for feedback right there on the call like you know some of them may or may not give you but most of them would tell you right you can get like a filler so even before you get a no you know you're getting a no and even if you're going to move to the next stage sometimes you have an idea right ask them you know um based on our interview today you know i just want to know uh, is there any questions i haven't answered do you have any reservations as to why you think i may not qualify for this role and a lot of them will actually talk to you you want to use that information uh to arm yourself for the next interview that you may have and these are the things that you need to be able to prepare for um even if the response is not favorable to you um you know because some of them are going to be blunt with you and tell you hey you know you seem like a fantastic person uh, but you know, I'm not so sure if you might be the right fit, but we'll, we'll get back to you or whatever, right? Don't take it to, 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 to hard, like, Oh, they just rejected me. Take that feedback, right? And then use it for your next interview. That's how to deal. That's how you start to deal with rejection. It starts from your mindset, right? To say, Hey, yes, even though I'm going for this interview because I want to get the job, right? you also want to psych yourself up that you're also going to this interview because you want to learn you're in a new country you're trying to understand what they need um uh so you start to use these experiences to learn and really that's how you ace your interviews um it's from constant practice and it's not just by or oh, watching youtube videos um, you also want to make sure that you get the chance to speak to actual um, recruiters and hiring managers and employers to start to gain this experience and the confidence to approach your next interview. So if you're interviewing right now, um, really good luck to you. Um, I'm, I'm you know, rooting for you and hoping that some of the tips I've shared today can actually help you to pass some of your um interviews in my next video i'm going to be running down on how to deal with rejections um if and when they come and um how to rise above that uh thank you so much for watching again um if you like my content please subscribe um you can share comments as well or share this video with your loved ones thank you once again see you next time bye